Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. It's time to fly Ishin EX2 Mini FPV quadcopter. Now this does not have GPS, remember, so it's purely an FPV quadcopter for beginners to get into FPV flying, FPV quadcopter flying, and maybe get a taste of a little bit of FPV racing. Now the quadcopter is complete, ready to fly, all in one FPV bundle which has everything including video goggles, LCD based video goggles. First off, of course, we want to see what's inside this box, okay? So let's just get to it quickly. First thing that I'm looking at with real surprise is this thick user manual. And I believe that is because it is translated in many languages. So basically not just English, but different languages. And that is why it's heavy and big. After that, uh, let's just take things out from the back. This is the Ishin radio control that comes uh, with the quadcopter. Looks more like a kind of MJX Bugs radio control. Basically, I have one from MJX Bugs 5 and you can see the similarities of this radio control right here. Ishin MJX. This is uh, basically an OEM from MGX. Anyway, so this is the radio control with the lights on off, motor arm, disarm, flight modes 1 and 2, angle and acro of course, on off switch, trimmers right here, low and high speed mode and camera for pictures. I'm not sure if Ishin EX2 Mini has uh, recording capabilities but we'll find out very very soon. Then we have an L1 and L2 buttons. I'm not sure if they are working. L1 is a clicker, L2 is not doing anything. So we'll see if this is uh, basically a working uh, setup or not. So this is the radio control and here is the quadcopter. Hmm. This is a small, really. That's why they're calling it mini. I was expecting it to be big as like a MGX Bugs 5W but uh, this is a small quad cover. Now I have a small hands and you can see this is in my palm right here. So this is a mini quadcopter with a camera installed on the front. Okay, there are LED lights on the bottom and the battery is right here, which is a 7.4 volt, 850 milliamp, 45C battery. Nice, 45C means, you know, brushless motors definitely need a high burst rate to fly speeds and power. After that, of course, in the box you have accessories, motor changing tool, screwdriver, spare propeller, and of course, USB battery charger and propeller guards. Well, as a beginner, you should install propeller guards so you can actually save on propellers. You will not damage the propellers if you are crashing it around. All right, that was a quadcopter, and let's uh, bring the G3 FPV video goggles out very, very quickly. Okay, as mentioned, these are LCD-based goggles, okay, so they are your user manuals. Um, having an LCD-based goggle is good because some people, they actually do not feel good flying with the video goggles for the very first time. For those people, they can basically easily remove, let me just get the stuff out from here, they can basically easily remove the uh, you know LCD from here and mount it on a tripod and start flying FPV to get the feel of FPV and when you are ready you can easily mount your LCD inside the video goggles and put on the video goggles and start flying to get the feel of video goggles FPV okay so basically this is really neat this MJXRC uh, G3 FPV video goggles, nice and neat. There's a, a head strap here, there's a foam right here for it to be very comfortably sitting on your face. And then there is a lens which I believe you cannot move forward or backward. Now that makes it a little bit trouble because if the image is a kind of blur and or if you are far-sighted or near-sighted, this kind of lens can actually create some troubles but anyway you can probably wear glasses I'm not sure anyway so that is why I say you can basically take the LCD out and start flying FPV if the goggles are not giving you good 
um, um, image quality because of your far-sighted or near-sighted eyesight. And of course, don't forget, if you are flying with the uh, LCD only, you will need a shade for your LCD and they have already provided you a shade which should fit just like this. There you go, you have the shade installed on the LCD and uh, as mentioned if you're not using it in the video goggles you can use this supplied piece, okay, and you can basically remove something from top of the radio and mount the LCD right here on top of the radio control and now you can fly FPV without FPV goggles. All right, enough for the indoor boring parts. Uh, for the interesting parts, watch the flight video testing outdoors of Ishin EX2 Mini. So let's put the battery in and let's fly it and see how it behaves. Now, I have only one battery. I have no way to charge it right there outside. And I have no way to charge it right here outside. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fly a little bit line of sight and then I'm going to put on the video goggles and fly it with video goggles and see how it feels to fly FPV with Ishin EX2 Mini. So, let's get to action. Turn it on, you will have to push the battery in, but before that, please remove this plastic cap from the connectors, otherwise you won't be able to turn it on. Push the battery in, and I'll put the quadcopter down on the floor. And now we'll turn the radio on. So, it should bind now. Remember, these two antennas are just for a show. Only one antenna actually is connected to the radio control. All right, and now, first off, let me just uh, quickly use the video goggles to uh, lock onto the signals. So here's the goggles, here's the LCD. And turn it on, press on all the channels, and there you go. So I have the video. Now, you cannot see the video in this bright day. Now, you cannot see the video on this bright day, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just turn it off, first flight line of sight, and after that I'll record DVR video using another video goggles, so you can see what I see in these video goggles. All right. All right, everything is set. Remember, for the very first time, when you want to use it, press and hold the motor arm button, that's little red lock, on the radio, and then turn the radio on. It will put it in bind mode, then turn the quadcopter on, and it will bind. So, after that, you will be able to fly it. Now, let's test the lights. So, right now, lights are on, and lights are off. On, off. So, you can turn the lights on and off. Right now, I'm in low mode, uh, dual rate, and in stabilized mode. Here we go. It's a little windy, let's see how it handles. And as this doesn't have GPS, so it will drift away. Wow. Very nice control right after takeoff. I can I can tell you that. The controls are super duper nice, see? Awesome. And it's absolutely stable. Just leave the sticks, control the throttle. It is absolutely stable, see? almost hands-free. It will drift because of the having no GPS, but hey, how stable it is, see? And this is low mode, and the speed is still fine. Really nice speed right here, man. Check it out. And control range should be better than the Hubson crap. Uh, the Hubson quadcopter S123D was actually falling to the ground right after this. And you can see on this quadcopter, I can actually go this much far, line of sight even. All right, let's try the high mode. Yes, now you can see the tilt angle has increased. it's faster now definitely with more tilt angle it will give you much more faster speeds and controls are super nice man really it's really really responsive quad see 
very responsive. I can actually run some aerobatics with this one. Ah, oh, man, these are amazing, nice responses. Ishin, you have done a good job here. All right, let's try the acro mode. Okay. So in acro mode, no, this is not an acro mode. I cannot actually do anything. It doesn't actually give me any anything. Will it flip with something else? Oh, okay. All right, I found it. Acro mode, you have to press and hold the L1 and then flip the stick at one direction you want to flip. Awesome. Okay, so this is how you do the aerobatics and it's like super fast and very stable flips. See? Super fast and stable flips. Nice. Because beginners don't know the stick combinations to do the flips and rolls. So Ishin actually provided it. Awesome. All right. So now I will land it and fly FPV with it. All right. It's time to fly FPV. And as the video goggles supplied do not have DVR, so I will lock my Ishin VR D2 Pro onto the FPV signal. And yeah, I can see my legs. <laughs> and we'll record DVR footage here. All right. It's recording. I'm just going to put the goggles on the ground and uh, turn on the goggles for the Ishin EX2 Mini, which actually came with it, the little LCD, so you can see it's pretty clear right here. Okay, so I'm going to put them in the video goggles and see. Ooh, image is not bad. It's very good inside. Basically, if you keep it outside, like with the LCD and put it here on the radiant fly, you will have better picture, but then it's pretty small. With the lens inside, it's a bigger image, much better. So, let's fly it and see how it goes. I'll stand right here and, uh, you know, so you can hear my comments. So here we go. Uh, unlock. I will turn around and go this way, yes. video is still alive still alive I'm playing slow just in case the video goes away I will land still alive I turn the antenna towards the quadcopter or turn my head I'm at the range where Hubson was actually falling often I still have video and I'm not falling I'm still flying I have full control on and video glitches a bit, but then it's back. And basically, it's, it's actually very good. So I have to give it to EX2 Mini Ishin that it has better range, it has better control range as well. And absolutely, it's 100% better than Hebson Crack, I can tell you that. Okay, turn my head towards the quadcopter. I got the video. Glitchy glitchy. No, I'm not crashing. I'm flying still. It's just that I'm not used to these goggles, so oh, there's a nice plane on the ground. Right, I believe we are at a good altitude. Now behind the car I was losing the video. But I got it wasn't that serious glitch. Still flying around. Awesome. So basically, this makes a very good beginner's package for you to actually fly and experience FPV all in one package. I'm flying around slowly and nicely. Um, I don't know which button was, uh, I think, uh -oh, one moment, we are falling, we are falling. Let me come back, then I will try to change to, I'm still trying to figure out which button is the dual rates button. Uh oh, no, let's just land first and then we will do some button button pressing. Here we are. Okay, 
Now, ah, uh, it's right here. Okay. High mode, uh, dual rates. And, oh, my eyes are closing. One moment. And I will put it in acro mode. Okay? And here we go. Motor to stop. Here we go. Ooh, wind's coming. All right, now we are in high mode. Fighting with the wind. The camera actually angle is like straight. So when you fly forward, you actually look downward. And that makes it difficult to fly, but still flyable. Still, I would say for beginners, it is really nice to actually have this thing, man. All right, let's do a flip. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> I lost the video for a second there. I'm turning around, looking at the car. I'm gonna flip again. Awesome. I'm gonna do a back flip, maybe. <laughs> nice. And I'm still flying. I don't have low battery warning. I'm still flying around. So, I'll just try to go a little farther, shall we? Let's see where we lose video. The speeds are actually quite good, not bad for a quadcopter like this. Why I'm struggling to go forward now? It seems like I'm stopped. Like really slow. Alright, losing video, losing video. Where I am? Okay, coming back is faster because we are with the wind. Going wasn't. Alright, good enough experience for this one to fly with FPV goggles. Not bad, I would say enough for beginners for more advanced pilots of course they're not gonna like it but for beginners this is much more enough much more than enough all right time to land time to land here we come for landing I think my uh, camera is getting that uh, condensation again all right we landed that was nice you watch my side all the time with big belly maybe hey not bad where is it where is the quadcopter let me let me just stop the uh dvr recording okay i flew it line of sight then i flew fpv and now i'm still flying it because i want to see when the low battery voltage will kick in so here we go So this time I'll try to just fly fly around and mix some of the aerobatics with it. So basically you can actually master the aerobatics by going forward and pressing the L1 button. Okay, now I'm having low voltage beeps and it stopped responding to the commands for aerobatics hey not bad quad man really very nice quad very responsive for beginners and really good flight times FPV is good goggles work really nice range is better than that Hubson things <laughs> range is very good on both controls and FPV at least it's not falling 30 meters away like Hubsun did I'm just loving the responses on this basically man Ishin this is going to be a two thumbs up product really nice plenty of flight time plenty of response very very stable can be very beginner friendly super easy to fly and FPV works really nice so beginners can actually get into FPV flying and basically have a little bit feel of FPV racing and FPV quadcopters and then proceed in their career all right let's not tease the battery let's land it that's like a lot of flight times man a lot of flight times so, conclusion for Ishin EX2 Mini. Man, I would actually give it two thumbs up because it flies really stable. That makes it very, very beginner friendly. It has very, very good response on the controls. It's very responsive quadcopter. 
speeds are good enough it's not very fast because for beginners you don't want to give them something really very fast so it's fast enough for beginners it has good control range and it has a good video reception as well I believe they are simply running uh, a 5.8 GHz all-in-one FPV system right here which is probably 25 milliwatts or maybe you can switch it to 20 milliwatt I have no information about that but even if it is 25 milliwatt it's doing very well actually the range it gives you is very very good previously when I was flying Hepson H123D I went just like you know 30 meters and fell to the ground I lost the video even but this one you still have absolute control on the quadcopter when you're going far away and of course video is still alive glitch is a bit but the video is still alive when you turn your head towards quadcopter you can actually get much more stronger signals so make sure to keep your head towards the quadcopter when flying this and then and then finally it has plenty of flight times that's the thing I like about it it has plenty of flight times other quadcopters in this category are not offering this much flight time so um, as mentioned this radio antenna only one antenna is basically works uh, connected another antenna is just a dummy antenna for show this is basically looks like to me is another MGX RC OEM by Ishin. so if it is which looks like it see the radio and similarity between this radio and MGX bugs this radio can give you 800 meters range because on MGX bugs 5 I went 800 meter away and I still had full control on the quadcopter though I lost the video but I could actually fly it with the you know line of sight seeing a little dot so it has a plenty of uh, so this radio has plenty of control range don't worry about it but just make sure you have good live video feed and you will be good to fly this quadcopter so to conclude absolutely two thumbs up very good quadcopter Ishin this is Ishin EX2 Mini a beginner friendly quadcopter for beginners who get into FPV check out the video description for the link and if you like this video do thumbs up and like the video hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel stay updated it's really hot but I do have more things to fly so let's get to those things come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.